<laughs> Here's my pretty picture. All right, guys, I hope I'm going to satisfy your curiosity, why I'm here, what I'm doing here. Well, first, uh, thank you for having me here. Lars, thanks a lot. I know there was a lot to me, me present this wonderful program. Um, it's OPW. So it's an outreach program for women, women like me who wanted to create software and actually system software. There was the first time uh, as a GNOME and FOSS uh, Foundation, they organized the Kernel uh, Internship Program for women. Out of 41 applicants for Kernel Internship, the seven were selected, two of them were working on exam projects, and the rest were taking part in development uh, for drivers, Ethernet drivers, and uh, parallel boot, and all, all that stuff. Um, yesterday we had a talk at LinuxCon, and uh, we really had a good feedback. We had uh, four interns at Linux K, uh, LinuxCon in UK here, and a couple of weeks ago, two of the other interns went to North America the LinuxCon to represent the same program. Uh, the main coordinator for Linux, uh, for Linux Foundation for the Kernel Internship for Program for Women is Asar Sharp. It's, the main country, it's actually a maintainer of the USB uh, branch of Linux Kernel. Uh, people know her pretty well, and she's a, she's a great organizer, so she brought us all here. Um, me, as a, um, I, was, uh, I was actually a full-time admin, and I was administering the Linuxes for quite some time. And um, I wasn't that happy recently, and I was looking for ways to escape that way. And um, I was somehow looking at the LWN.net, the, the resource you all pretty much you know, know about, and it was this, this interesting uh, app. And I was like, hmm, interesting. Kernel, wow, keywords, that's all I need, you know? But I was, I was having a full-time job, and I was not sure if I can even leave it. And I was like, that kind of requires a lot of commitment from me. I said, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't quit my job, right? Then uh, somehow I came across again, uh, I think it was in Google Plus, and um, Sara Sharp mentioned it again, and people were like, everybody was excited. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to just quit my job and just start a new life, right? Um, well, they didn't let me quit because I'm good at what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I was working uh, part-time, and I was engaged in the project. Um, and uh, there was a, actually a more than full-time job. Uh, I think I worked more than before <laughs> in my life. But that was, that's all came out really nice. Those are the pretty faces you see. Those are my mentors. Those are the actually Sarah Sharp is in the middle. Um, as an organizer from the Linux Foundation, there's a people who actually uh, managed to bring women in the GNOME, and from GNOME, uh, for a GNOME internship, Mozilla, many other participants actually uh, are, are financing this program right now. So it's quite exciting. And those are the other inventors. <laughs> Dario, you like that, I know. Um, <laughs> um, some of them you know, that's the corner at the end. Um, well, I think I should have put Lars' face there too. Next time, all right? <laughs> I promise. All right. So um, that's how it all started. That all started, I think, by the end of April, and uh, I think in May I got that note that I was accepted into the program. So that was really cool. Um, my work was concentrated on bringing new more awareness to the part virtual guests. That was a piece of work. It's not the big right now, but it's it's actually I think will be extended a little bit. Um, all you know that Linux now supports Numa machines um, and uniform memory architectures, and that's what the power virtual guests were missing. All right, so I, I, I know about a couple of attempts of bringing it into, the, into life, and I've seen a couple of patches also, or more <laughs> than a couple. <laughs> so that was actually uh, my project, and that's how it's supposed to look like. So if you run your... Uh, Power virtualized guests on the Numo machine, on the hardware in the Numo machine, your power virtualized guests should know about that somehow. Well, uh, actually, it's not completely true because you can run the same power virtualized guest without hardware, having a hardware Numo machine, uh, uh, and running hypervisor actually just on the regular uh, UMA machine. All right, so a couple of words about internship. So, uh, since it's my first contribution after the Accept uh, being accepted uh, into the program because the 
they pass into the program was to actually submit a couple of kernel patches, which if you try to submit patches into the kernel, you know, it's kind of, can get a little bit, yeah. So, well, <laughs> well, that was fun because, yeah, they were looking at us all as women sending patches. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> let me look at this. Oh, new lines, ah, here we go. <laughs> all right, so, the deal was very interesting, and I have to mention that our one of our interns, she was working on cleaning some uh, patches, I uh, don't remember which ones, and she actually made to the top, 10 top list of the Linux kernel contributors for the past uh, um, release. So that was really nice. Well, those were cosmetical patches, but still, she, she's got very... And I think we beat up the Google and uh, patches so for Linux kernel, so that's pretty cool. Um, all right, so for me, my challenges were that that was my first contribution. I had to face developers with a big experience and, uh, you know, I, I, well, it's not, it wasn't, it wasn't scary, you know, it just, I, I know my limits, right? I knew where I lacked the knowledge, so um, I had to learn a lot. But it was pretty challenging and I love challenges because that's why I'm here. Uh, guys, <laughs> I don't see any women. I just seen some, but no, not anymore. She's got me. You, <laughs> you scare her away. All right. So, um, well, there was interesting three, four, five months. I don't know. I keep counting because it, it just doesn't stop anymore, which is which is nice. So, what was that? A um, couple of patches were uh, submitted into the Zen Devil list. They were reviewed. Um, mm. Yeah, the first patch was fun. <laughs> it's like, I'm not reading this anymore. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> well, um, the, um, the, also the Linux patches were submitted into the uh, Zen development list, and there are a couple of things we have to do and work on. Um, me too. Um, yeah, and the coding style is absolutely a terrible thing, working in Zen. It's just three different <laughs> things. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Well, it's okay. Um, also, uh, I think for the next uh, release candidate, I, it should be our, it, yeah, it should be there. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we'll be testing, cool. All right, so, um, well, that's what happens. Now you can um, bring actually the power virtualized guests and have them NUMA aware the way you want or the way we want, right? So they can be configured pretty much uh, in any spa aspect of NUMA topology and uh, mapping everything, the, the vCPUs to the, to the virtual nodes, virtual nodes to the physical nodes, or you just can leave it actually on the automatic NUMA placement mechanism, which is Dario is working on, work on. <laughs> there are many other things to do also. Well, uh, Zen also knows uh, about uh, part of virtualized guests with the uh, NUMA support, so there's a couple of runs. Um, well, okay, so there are a couple of key issues right now, and one of them is automatic NUMA balancing, which is uh, working okay in Linux, and uh, actually, uh, Jonathan Corbett claimed that the, huh, the performance with automatic NUMA balancing is, compared, uh, is actually comparable to the one with the manual tuning, which, I don't know, I, I didn't run any performance tests yet, so, well, that's the one of the key issues which probably will prevent these patches to be alive, so I'll be working the next uh, couple of weeks on that. Um, well, the other parts, uh, it's actually making a domain zero and HVM domains no more where, and now after the George, uh, George presentations, I, I think there is a new kind of uh, type of domain coming up, so that's another thing. Uh, the performance evaluations and, yeah, of course, more patches. Well, um, well, the, the things I learned, I mean, you guys probably know them all already. <laughs> um, well, for me, that was, that was new, right? Um, I know that I shouldn't submit big patches, that's for sure. And that's, uh, yeah, that was a head scratcher <laughs> for me. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, you know? I'll try, it. I'll just, I'll try to do my best. Um, also, um, well, as I said, the coding styles, you know? But that's manageable, but just, it's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, I learned a lot about Xen in general, the part virtual guests, and I actually didn't expect uh, that I'm going to learn so much in details about Linux kernel as well. Because at first I was like, oh, virtualization, okay. Nah, that doesn't work this way. So, all right, guys. So, 
I hope you enjoy that. And um, I hope somebody from you knows some women who are out there sitting in the workplaces, working full time, com contributing to the enterprise communities and trying to get out of there and contribute to open source and advance these skills and become a system developers. So if you have any questions, yeah, by the way, there is a, uh, I think there is a GNOME, on the GNOME website, oh, it's, it's on the first slide. There is a, that ad right there, right? Um, and everybody can go and just, <coughs> you know, send a list to somebody else who you know. So there will be, and I know Lars is going to say about the, that this round, the round number seven, which is going to be, I think the deadline is what, November 11th. Uh, Exam project sponsors one monitor. So. Cool. Any questions? I'm like, huh? No. <laughs> They're not used to that idea yet, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> you do have one. Yeah. I was curious because uh, previously you did uh, system administration, but uh, where did you learn to program actually? Well, I actually um, I have a master's degree in computer science, so uh, yeah. I, there is no system administ you know, administrator and master's degree. So that's kind of you supposed to know how to program. Well, I've done some uh, microcontrollers programming before, but on like, my student years, it just wasn't paid good at the time. I mean, zero. <laughs> zero paid, yeah. So at this time, in my country, we had to switch over to some other, so we could finish our education, at least. Yeah. Any other questions? Thank you. No problem.